Awesome. That brings us into our spotlights. Wes, take it away. Yes, thank you so much. We're happy to announce that the Compute Over Data Working Group is launched. We've had our third meeting. All this information is available on cod.cloud as well as the YouTube page. Uh, the, the purposes behind the working group are to create a space for collaboration. There are many different teams in addition to Backo Yao that are trying to solve this problem of Compute Over Data. Increase awareness, marketing, go to market because these projects, some of them are younger and they're attracting users and VC interest. And then also to foster collaboration. There are often shared standards between different computer related projects, and we we'll want to really invest and support those uh, those shared standards. We do have this upcoming uh, second round of our computer data summit. It's going to be Lisbon, November second through third. We very much encourage you to pencil in the dates. We'd love to have your attendance. Also, please jump into the Slack channel if you'd like to stay up to date on uh, the developments there. Um, and the next big ask is if you know of any compute over data projects that are not part of the community yet, please do send them our way. We do want to grow the community. It's a big, uh, it's a big ecosystem out there. So we're always looking to, uh, to add, to add folks who are trying to solve these problems. And, uh, again, big thank you to Patrick and the retrieval working groups for all their help getting this started. Uh, they definitely paved the way for us. So that's all we have for today. Thank you very much. Awesome. Over to Ansgar for Saturn. Good morning, all you beautiful people. So Saturn is Filecoin's content delivery network. Our mission every day, every single day, is to make Filecoin fast. So we got a lot of progress to report. While the network is still in testing, it has been growing, growing, growing. We are now 44 points of presence globally. That means L1 nodes. These are nodes running in data centers that end users will talk to first. And we have been loading those nodes. So we're now pushing over 80 terabytes and 120 million requests a day. And if that sounds familiar, that's our target. Our initial target is the IPFS gateway network load. So that's the same load. And how are we doing performance wise of that load? We are 800 milliseconds faster at 95th percentile time to first byte than the IPFS gateway. You can see a little graph of that in the upper right. And we're twice as fast as the IPFS gateway at the 50th percentile. And the L2 nodes, this is like the next step in the network. So L1s will cache miss the L2s. L2s will run on you can use your desktops and station. You'll hear about station from Julian shortly. And L2s will cache miss the FS network and storage providers. That's forthcoming. Now, what's in the pipeline? What are we, what's on our menu next? We want to continue to improve the time to first byte faster, faster, faster. We want to integrate with the IPS gateway and see how we can bring Saturn to the existing kind of production load with the IPS gateway. And thereafter, we are aiming for a public L1 launch. That means anyone, your friends, your family, your mother, your dog can go run an L1 node in Saturn's network, contribute to that network and be remunerated in Filecoin for their contributions. And we'd love for you to join in on our little party. You can come jump in in Filecoin Saturn channel on Filecoin Slack, check out the orchestrator, which is a piece of software that monitors the whole network, monitor our progress on GitHub. And then a huge shout out to the best little team at Protocol Labs, the Saturn team. Let's keep cranking. And that's it. Woohoo. Awesome. And now the other part of that station, Julian. Hey, I'm Julian. I'm part of the Filecoin Station project. And so we're building a desktop app for the Filecoin network, which uh, actually spun out of the Saturn project. For users, this means that everyone can participate in the network by running the app and everyone can earn Filecoin by doing so. And it should be easy to install and run so that we can just grow the network as much as possible. And so that, um, yeah, you basically shouldn't even notice it's running. For developers, Station is a deployment target. Um, the first module that will be deployed to Station is the Saturn L2 which adds um, edge caching. In the future, there's going to be a lot of computer over data um, use cases, which can be very interesting and whatever else you can think of. So we're building this as a open platform, right? And an open platform obviously also needs a good security model. We are um, still working on that. We might use IPVM and yeah, the platform will also handle resource allocation for you so that module authors can focus on the actual business logic and don't need to be concerned with um, you know, using people's machines too much. Um, if you have um, questions or ideas, please uh, join us Slack. Thanks. Awesome. Jesse, quick update on NetOp Summit. Hey, okay, Jesse again. <laughs> so uh, 
last month uh, we go into the uh, Iceland with the IPFS thing together uh, to our our summit. Uh, we go have a lot of uh, planning and knowledge sharing, uh, which you can see the list in here. Uh, we will slowly sharing uh, with the community what we're going to do. And I think today the data team will share a little bit about what the plan we're going to do in the data platform. Uh, you can see we have a lot of topic in there. Um, um, also, we travel, um, going to the biking, mountain biking. It's pretty nice, uh, very beautiful country and a lot of activity. Uh, so that's a kind of a highlight from our NEO summit. Um, if you're interested on any uh, what we are doing here or want to join us for the next uh, summit, please let us know. Uh, we also have a hiring page in here. If you want to do something with us, please reach out. Awesome. Thank you. We have a couple more and then on to deep dives. Crypto Econ Lab, Ishan. Uh, awesome. So we had a very successful Crypto Econ Day in Paris. We had over 300 um, registrations and over 100 people attend. So um, I think that was our biggest one yet. Uh, we've been branching out to more non-PL speakers. I think our, our ratio at uh, Paris was 50% from outside PL and 50% inside PL. Um, and uh, you can see the links for the on our on Crypto Econ Day website. We, we keep all the talks there. So if anybody wants to watch them, they're there. We've also had uh, two new team members join. Um, uh, Juan Pablo, he uh, joined um, uh, in Paris and Sham is joining part-time in next week and then full-time in September. Some upcoming things, uh, we have a new Crypto Econ website uh, that Dave is working on. Uh, and then we have Crypto Econ Days in Singapore, Bogota, and Lisbon. So if you guys are interested, please register and come to our events. I think um, they're going to be uh, they're going to be great. And Dave has done a great job of of finding new uh, people to give talks at each of the events. And then some ongoing projects. So um, we're working on the sector duration FIP, uh, which I think is pretty well known. And and Tom and Vic have been doing a great job there. Saturn Aliens. Um, we just started working on doing some gas modeling hierarchical consensus, and then um, Project Atlas. Uh, and then we are also looking to hire a couple of research scientists and three to four software engineers. So if you know anyone who's interested in um, working on this type of uh, projects, please give me, um, please ping me and I will reach out. Awesome, right, well, IPFS thing, Steve. Yeah, awesome, this happened earlier here, or last month in July in Iceland, there's been different mentions to it, but yeah, we got around 80 folks, 30 different projects represented, 12 different tracks you can see. Uh, a lot of recorded video from this, uh, that'll be going live early next week, um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but you know, emphasis on multiple areas, certainly imp the implement various implementations and experimentation. Uh, we talked about the spec improvement process and kind of as soon as that got lit up, like we immediately had people engaging with it, uh, which is great to see. Uh, I think a real highlight for me was to see that there was a lot of orgs outside of protocol labs really working together in a networked fashion. Uh, you know, the IPFS and WASM track, you know, kind of birthed the interplanetary virtual machine working group. So you can join that on Discord and, and Filecoin Slack. Uh, and similarly, the Content Addressable Alliance working group has gotten started with that, you know, it advocates and promotes the usage of content, content addressing in different places. Um, so good, good stuff there. There's you know more coming here in terms of recap blog posts. Uh, right after this call, there's actually a biweekly implementer sync uh, to carry on some of the conversation. And we're going to be uh, creating a monthly builder sync as well. And uh, for folks to be aware of, IPFS camp will be coming uh, where we'll gather the whole community. Uh, and details on that will be shared in the IPFS.tech blog and the IPFS newsletter as soon as we have it. But thanks all for those involved. Good times. Awesome.